Alright, so now we're doing the full process video for this Brunswick acoustic. So, did a little intro video on this one. Um, gonna go through step by step. So, apart from inspecting it, nothing's been done. Get it a bit better lit up for you. Just checking the computer screen. Yeah, we're looking good. Um, so, yeah, a loose string that's been snapped and everything. It's actually snapped. Wrapped knot, I think. Yeah, it's, it's come off at the knot. I don't know where the rest of the string's gone. Uh, yeah. So this one's going to be fun, hence why I'm doing a video of it. Uh, just going to get... Um, well, I'm not taking the photos yet, so I'll say... This is all part and parcel. So I tend not to use flash when I'm doing the photos. See things better when you don't generally use the flash. Use the flash. Getting inside the sound hole. To make sure we see everything. That's, that's the front one. Yeah. Play side. A lot of stickers on it. So you get a close up picture of any bolts and floors. the side, back. So there's a big floor. So we've actually got to repair that. got interrupted when they know the sign in the wind they're not don't interrupt luckily I'm just taking photos but they don't need to know that the problem about working from home kids <laughs> I'll focus I've done that in a dodgy order, but I 
All right. <laughs> Let's get down to the nitty nitty gritty. All right, so. First job. Take the strings off and these out. So once I've done them, I can slide this light inside and get my mirror. Where is it? Get my mirror. Check. This extends. Need to clean clean the actual mirror. It's a bit mucky. So I'll get on that. Slightly off camera. But that helps me get inside. So I'm not gonna bother with the power winder. Use me Planet Waves Combi String Winder. String Winder does guitar and bass. String cutters, bridge pin pullers. So a lot of times I'll use uh, I've got sn I've got snips. So I use them, I generally use them on electric strings. So let's get rid of the up here. Oh it's so filthy this is. been done in this one then? That's been threaded through twice. I don't know whether the mate's strung this up or his mate strung this up. But I think it's me is gonna have to get me pliers on that one on that one. I mean you can see how Horrible the strings are, hopefully. <laughs> they ain't bronze, they're green. I will describe what the smell is. <laughs> On this one, because I'm showing you all the way through, you'll see clouds coming through from now and again. It's not cigarette smoke. Working in a non smoking environment. Well, half the string came off then. particles all over my bench yeah that one was doubled through for some reason the only one that has been so far
If it's a bit grainy, I apologise. It's not exactly the most well lit room, hence why I've got the additional lighting. Let's see what's going on with this one. Concerned about whoever strung this up because it looks like they just keep knotting it up. Shelving unit. got it out in the end. I probably won't show, I'll probably cut this in certain places and it's going to be long winded I mean just finishing off the photos and taking the strings off it's, it's a 10 minute long video so far nearly. Keep them one side because we're probably just going to end up replacing the whole lot. Don't worry, I see it slipped here, yeah, but that's only because it actually lifted it. Feel like they've been hammered in. Now, I said to the customer about these, I've got a spare tool like this. He said he wasn't interested because he just sent it to me. <laughs> Some of these are going on, the tool's going on fairly easily. Some of them have been a bit of a pain in the backside. into the body. Well, I've determined what strings are in it. The Darios. back up. We'll take the bridge out. I 
thought the bridge looked dodgy. The bridge saddle's been snapped. And you can tell it wasn't me. The bridge saddle snapped, so I've just pulled it apart, but it's been glued. So glue is actually quite tacky. So it's not actually cured. You see how green and stuff it is? Oh, that's quite bad. They're really dirty. So, put that one side and I'll take a picture of that. Right, so. So, unplug my tuna. Ah! That's the top of that string. Unplug the tuna. Unplug my light. Before I get it out. Put this down. Really handy piece of kit, this. Because I wrapped it up around the lamp to keep the cable out of the way for the last job. Got to unwrap it. Right. So plug that back in. Great light, five quid. It's just the same as your Samsung charger. Plugs right in. Get that on there. That the reason why that sounds bad is because there's a split in the body. So, see, nice illuminated in there. Oh, that doesn't look good in there. What's going on in there? Actually, looks like it's been split. picture of what I see in the mirror there. A little bit blurry. Hmm, that shouldn't cause us too much issue. But it might be. It's had a split about here. Because it has. It's had a piece splayed and then laid. From the looks of it. Yeah, it's right here. Probably see it a bit better. Not done a bad job of matching it. I'll give them that. Off there. I'll have to ask him about that, see whether he wants to finish finishing touching up. What's that up in there? Well, this is a doozy of a beckle. in there looks like it's had a piece added on looks like there's a big chunk of wood missing out of there by the truss rod that string's poking me in the head 
Well, other than that, the brakes are up all right. It's that bridge plate that I'm bothered about, really. used as a depth stop Stopping periodically just to check. I'll try and break bits of the string up as I go. tend to do that but the strings finally come out with the ball land we 
because I've used a drill smaller I don't know if you can see that but it's just taken away enough now the two strings of the fan come out now and go back where it's meant to go we'll put some tools away that we don't need anymore like the hammers I know probably a lot of you probably cringed at that bit I was cringy you're not the only ones Keep the workspace there. Actually, that one, I don't know whether that was the original, it's black and the rest of them ain't. Yeah, black pad peg. black peg and the other ones like a ivory look for it, I can't see it because I'm like <laughs> now we brush off so that dust has been on there that long it's actually stuck I don't know what's happened here. Whether that's glue or the finish or what. Brush most of that off. Don't think so. Oh, on the headstock. not even glued at the back of the nut oh my it's lifted there I think what I might have to do is get an iron on the pit guard get it up off the body clean up all underneath there because it's going to rubbish all underneath it I think because all inside minging and there we said just do what needs to be done on it but by Jove right so I'm going to try a little trick on this fingerboard get a rag an old rag and some white fluid because uh, it helps get all the rubbish off. It's a bit of a degreaser. Absolutely caked in filth now. All over my top. And all I do is skirt some of that. And because it evaporates quickly. See on there, but making a hell of a difference already. That's just going to help soften all that ground in debris. Because it evaporates quickly. It can come in with a razor blade.
No, I'm basically doing. It's a dull blade. It is quite dull blade. But it's just basically like a very fine chisel. It's just to scrape it away. Obviously, clean up the frets after. See the drag marks. All basically doing is just scraping array, 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 yeah. away that access. And you see the road is underneath. It is that one. As you can see, it's lighter than the others. It's about the same as what it is down here. as you can get under the fret wire this one you can To be honest, I don't actually think I've seen a fingerboard as dirty as this. Let's see whether the quality is going to deteriorate. Uh, the quality's not great zoomed in. But as you can see, these are the two frets that I've just done. I've black those other ones there. They actually look pitch black on the camera, on the laptop screen. Those ones need some work doing up to about there and to the thing to about there to be fair but on the treble side. So Good a bit. I'm going off the brush off the bench, I think. Just get a bit more white fluid. This just purely because it helps pull up the dirt. That little noise you can hear is going over the inlay. You will see little scrape marks. Come back in. 
polish it up so they're gone because as you've heard it needs to flatten out the inlay Can you see all this? No, it don't look like you can. I thought this camera was going to be better. Obviously not. But even the height, because <laughs> it's so thick with rubbish, I don't even know what's happened to that for a while. I'm going to do some research on this label that's on the back of the headstock. See whether the... Because if this is all done by the shop, I would say I don't know what conditions this guitar's been in. That temperature and humidity and what moisture it's been exposed to. These fretons look chipped off. I really should have test played it, but no how manky everything was, it wasn't going to be overly great. I've got YouTube on in the background, but I'm starting to get a bit tired, so I'm just going to do a bit more scraping. Got some stuff show. about and WrestleMania fact, 33. Had to bump a match entirely, depriving someone of their WrestleMania moment. Instead, that the stage caught fire will just be a funny footnote people sometimes mention when talking of the Undertaker's retirement. Number one, lost opportunity. Roman didn't turn heel. They could have done it. They could have turned Roman Reigns heel at WrestleMania. The stage was all set for them if they wanted to do it, but clearly they did not. They had Reigns going up against one of the most beloved figures in wrestling history at the biggest event of the year. All Reigns would have had to do was cheat a little to get the win, beat Taker after the bell, or do something otherwise, and it arguably would have been one of the most iconic moments in WrestleMania history. WrestleMania 32 well, I don't know if you can build up of Roman rubbish. Out the next <laughs> night and claimed that he finally had enough of the movie, that if the fans were going to boo him after the biggest win of his life, he could no longer respect them. I'm going to go back and want to scrape all this stuff off and go back and do one of the frets fret wire but we're starting to look a lot better there's some excess there I don't know, I think we go down to about that fret probably the first fret that's clean I basically got to do from there to there keep in mind I've already done a big bulk of it now yeah, it's an entertaining one <laughs> to say the least. I've not had to do anything this heavily caked. I've had some stuff that is quite badly soiled over the years, and I've been doing this. Properly for I don't know. When you started this VTR guitars in 2010, 2011, 
So I've been working on my own guitars and doing the odd stuff for mates. Oh, that, that. That looks quite hard. I've been doing this for myself and other people for about 10, 12 years. I'll give you a precise number because I can't. I've slept a lot since then. jobs but just in case but what someone considers if they've done it if they consider it a good job someone else might consider it rubbish Ultimately, however, Ulta departed due to union conflicts. A rep for the actor explained, 
George Lucas and the gang agreed to hire Gary Oldman if he, in fact, would become a union buster and perform work illegally overseas. As a resident of America and also a member of SAG, out of respect and solidarity with the other members, he could not and would not consider violating his union's rules. We don't want to know what George Lucas's gang looks like, but it probably looks a lot like Bingo Night. The role ultimately went to Matthew Wood, who'd already voiced various Star Wars characters. Jim Henson, master puppeteer and gentle soul of the Frog, Jim Henson is owed some serious credit for the very existence of Yoda. The Muppet Show was being filmed across the street from Star Wars' London production location, and Lucas saw an opportunity to work with Henson on a character. Lucas reportedly consulted with Henson about Yoda's creation, and ended up utilizing some of the same tech which would later come in handy for Henson's own The Dark Crystal and Labyrinth. Lucas even offered Henson the role of Yoda, but Henson was already pressed for time with his own projects. Both turned to frequent collaborator and voice of Miss Piggy, Frank Oz, with the opportunity to star in The Empire Strikes Back instead. Oz said when he first saw the character, he just fell right, probably because they're basically twins. Toshiro Mifune. It's no secret that Lucas well, was inspired by the original of it off. So it shouldn't be too surprising to learn that he originally tried to recruit one of the director's biggest alums to appear in A New Hope. Toshiro Mifune was offered not one, but two roles in the Star Wars series, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader. His daughter revealed to The Hollywood Reporter that he turned down the roles because he was concerned about how the film would look and that it would cheapen the image of Samurai, on which George Lucas had based a lot of the character in fighting style. At the time, sci-fi movies still looked quite cheap as the effects were not advanced and he had a lot of Samurai pride. As far as reasons for turning down Star Wars go, Samurai pride sure beats Burt Reynolds' I wanted to lock lips with Sally Field. Leonardo DiCaprio. While Hayden Christensen would ultimately nab the role of Anakin Skywalker in Attack of the Clones, George Lucas had originally approached future Oscar winner Leonardo DiCaprio for the role. As DiCaprio later told Shortlist Magazine, I did have a meeting with George Lucas about that. I just didn't feel ready to take that dive at that point. DiCaprio has never been much of a franchise movie guy, but the prequels might have been very different if he'd made a different decision. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too. Not rating the inlays on this. To me, it does look like they've been taken out because of the chips that are in it. Finish floor that. Oh, well, that's all the frets great as best I can, anyway. And now. Should have a block or something. I've got a block of maple here.
Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Apologies for the swearing. But that's the knot. The glue wasn't even cured. 100%. It just looked. It was weird. It was quite tacky. You probably saw me struggling. Normally, nut, top nuts just. After a couple of hits, just bing off. I'll have to pick this up and show you. But well, he's actually got a shame. Ah, look. Oh, it's off a business card and library card. Oh, a bit of excessive force. Yeah. It's just a card. So that, that's the actual cavity. That's the actual slot for the nut. I'm going to have to clean that up. Some of chronic. But there, I won't mind it. See much, but it's not even cut straight. Not even cut straight. And whatever glue they've used, bits of timbers come off with it. Oh, by gum. Stick them under there. Right, uh, next job, machine heads off. Machine heads are crappy. That one's not even got any bushings. No, that one, or that one, that one, that one, or that one. Chance I might be able to replace all them now. If not, at least put bushings on them. Let's see what we've got here. I'm going to have to replace some of these screws. Oh, let's work with what we got. Have I got a pot to put them in? I'm doing this all backwards. <laughs> Let's get these nuts undone. Well, generally, there are 12. It's either not reaching them because they're not very deep. Got webs all above me. All above me, Imperial set. <laughs> now see what colour it used to be. Ooh. Crap on a cracker. No one won't even in. I'm guessing that could be a, could have been a sticky, because it looks like it just pulled the paint off there. 
as they paint the finish. That's either dirt or it's been <laughs> attempted to have been sanded. That's a surprise, I could get that screw undone and stake the head on it. Same with this sticker here. I want to put it there. It was me. I, I was considering putting, getting some stickers made up. And I might still. But I'll put it inside a cavity here if it was on this. Put it inside the body. That, I, I don't like that when it's out clear. I don't care whether it's a low price one like this. Oh, binding missing there. Uh, to me it's just wrong. It's... Get away with these. If I've got enough room. So I think I've still got the ferrules. Which I have. So let's see if I've got enough room. Uh, this uh, just playing about because I don't know whether it's what the customer wants. But to be fair, I actually think they'd look a bit nicer. I think they actually would look just a bit nicer, a lot nicer because of that sort of style. I can actually make it. No, oh, but saying that, I think the headstock's a bit thick. And the looks of it. I'm not going to get away with that. The headstock's a bit thick. Shame they all would all look lovely on it taking stuff off. Problem for it. to rock so tenth eighth fourth so far Thirteenth, fourteenth, or 
all across the floor, it's in the way of some men on the travel. Fifteenth. Sixteenth's got a gouge in it. Seventeenth. Obviously it's the surrounding ones as well. So yeah, I need some fret work on it as well. Which is added to the issues. While it's dirty, I know it's not really a true fact. I just scraped a bit better than what the hell in hell, what friggin' hell it was. Have I got it in? Yeah. That was full of glue that I hadn't really cured. Alright. It's hard to do it, point it up at Skycam. Looking at the screen as I do it. But yeah. What a pain in the backside that was. Should have really taken a picture of it, but screenshot it off that. 